In this video, I am going to tell you how we can install Kali Linux using an ISO image. So, uh, if the first met method does not work for you, you can just use this method to install Kali. So, uh, go to a browser and type in Kali Linux download and it will open the, uh, the official Kali Linux download page for you and then you can select uh, the desired ISO image for you. So <coughs> let it load for me. Here it is. So I want you to download the Kali Linux 64 bit image for, uh, for yourself because uh, that, is, uh, that is a better one and I have downloaded it already because it's 3 GB and I cannot do that on the video. So I will show you I have downloaded it and here it is, here is the ISO image, just double click it and it will open a page for you. So now what we need to do is, we need to install a, a virtual, a new virtual box, a virtual machine into the virtual box. So just click on the new, you can give any name to it as in Kali ISO image. In the type, we need to set the type of operating system we are trying to install. So that is Kali Linux and that will be Linux. And in the version, I want you to select Debian 64 bit. Click on next and you can set any amount of RAM you want. I want it to go a little faster. So I will be selecting 8 GB. Click on next and here. Uh, set it to the default option that is create a virtual hard disk now click on create it will ask us about the hard disk type we want to install so uh, select VDI that is virtual disk image click on next and <coughs> then let it to the uh, default option too that is dynamically allocated click on next so uh, it is asking us for the space it wants so uh, it is going to take 20 GB, 10 GB is fine but I want you to do it, keep it to 20 GB or 25 GB, click on create and it has now added a new virtual machine for us into the virtual box. So just click on start button and wait for it to load. So now it is asking us that where is our ISO image uh, actually exists. So uh, for me it is in host drive D. You can see that uh, when we click the ISO image it opened a, a new window for me, for me. So it was drive D for me. So just go here and click on drive D, click on start and the installation process will start for us. From here, uh, select the graphical install and click enter. So <coughs> select the language you want to install that is English and then United States and then American English, click on continue and it is now adding some components it wants to install. So in here you can set it to any host name. I will just let it to Kali. Click on continue. We don't have any domain in our network. So we can keep, uh, we can just let it empty. Click on continue. And here you can set a password for yourself. So I will be keeping it to the default password that is tour, T double O R tour and click on continue <coughs> and it is setting up the clock for us now. Now uh, we need to set the configure the clock. Now from here we can keep it to default that is guided use entire disk. Click on continue 
uh, then there is single option available for us that is the the amount of hardware we set for it so that is 21.6 GB click on continue keep all files in one partition click on continue <laughs> and then it's asking if we want to continue with the options we set earlier or not so click on continue here it's asking if we want to uh, save the changes to disk so yes we want that click on continue and now uh, the setup has actually started for us so Kali is, has now started to install on the virtual box and I will pause the video and will come back when it's installed so once it asks you to use a network mirror you can just say no or you can just say yes and click on continue uh, and then just keep click on continue and it will start configuring aptitude for us and stuff like that and I will let it continue so once you see this it is asking if you want if we want to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record uh, yes we want that click on continue then select dev sta from here uh, and click continue and it will just install the grub bootloader for us grub bootloader is just like a bootloader uh, of windows so uh, grub bootloader is a uh, is a bootloader of uh, of linux actually so if we install if we, if we are installing ubuntu or if we are installing kali so that is uh, actually the grub bootloader which actually loads the machine so uh, now it is finishing the installation for us and it, uh, the machine will just restart now so the installation has finished now and you can click on continue and the machine is going to restart now so once us, uh, uh, once the machine starts we have the login screen here we give it the username root and the password we set during the installation so i set it to tour so i will be writing tour and then sign in into the machine so here is the Kali machine and you can see that it's no difference from no different from the uh, the machine we installed earlier that is uh, installing Kali from the uh, from the pre-built version so uh, one thing I want you to do is to change the settings of this machine uh, to the uh, to the machine I told you earlier about so it's like uh, going to the to the settings of the network and then uh, setting up all the network options that is setting the net network and setting the uh, setting the the RAM and each and everything you want to do so you can just do that uh, from the previous previous video I am not going to tell it again uh, if you have any questions you can contact me I have given my contact and my LinkedIn and my Facebook and my email address you can email me if you are facing any issues and I will be happy to help you so uh, I will now come back with the next video and uh, then we will be installing Windows 10 on the virtual box